Hi everyone! Today in Mountain Logic you get three puzzles at the price of one. They all will have a common theme, the equator. Each time I will give you a moment to solve it before showing you the solution. But before we start to avoid those doubts and questions, let's assume that the equator is 40,000 kilometers long. Are you ready? Let's go! First puzzle I saw years ago as a child while reading Donald Duck comics. Let's imagine that along the whole equator, including water somehow, a wall is being built. Each kilometer of that wall weighs 20,000 tons. And the question is, how much weight will the earth gain once the wall is finished? Now is the time to pause and think. Ready? 3, 2, 1. The answer is none. Building the wall only moves some material from one place to another, but it will not change the total mass of the planet. For any change, the material would need to be taken from asteroids, for example. This was a bit deceptive one, and I fell for it myself. Okay, puzzle number two. I believe I saw it on a show QI, quite interesting, and I believe it belongs there. Let's encircle the Earth with very long rope, along the equator, of course. Now we want to raise it from the ground atop our wall, that is one meter tall. How much more rope do we need to accomplish that? Looking at the whole wall, it would look like this, but not to scale. Orange extending circle is our rope. You have a moment to think about it before I give you the solution. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1. The answer is 2 pi meters, so less than 6.3 meters. Yes, so little. Let's see why. Circumference of a circle formula looks like this, where r is the radius. And for radius r plus 1, it will look like this. As you see, the difference is only 2 pi. Circumference grows linearly with radius, so increasing radius by just a bit will also increase circumference by a bit. Exactly by 2 pi bits. It's counterintuitive, but increasing by 1 meter radius of a rope around, let's say, a basketball, will require as much additional rope as if it was around the whole galaxy, just above 6 meters. Quite interesting, isn't it? Now it's time for third and final equator puzzle, the one I made myself. On top of our mighty wall, two railroad tracks are built. Two trains are close together, but each on its own track, facing opposite directions. Trains depart in the middle of the day with the same speed, allowing each to do a full lap in 24 hours. The question is, after 7 laps each, how many nights will people in each train experience? You have a moment to pause now to solve it. And ready? 3, 2, 1. The answer is, for westbound train it will be 0 nights, for eastbound it will be 14. And now let's see why. Westbound train will be traveling pretty much along with the sun on the sky. In other words, the Earth rotates eastward, so train going west with the same speed will cancel that effect. For an observer on the sun, it would look as if the Earth was rotating under a stationary train. What about the eastbound train? It moves along with Earth's rotation, so it is as if running up the escalator. The speed will add up. In this case, it will double. How will it affect days and nights? The same way as if the Earth suddenly doubled its rotation speed. It would mean twice as many days and nights, so the answer is 14. If it is still unclear, then you can analyze it with something like ball, orange or even a lamp as the sun. I guess you notice that we never need the length of the equator. On one hand, I gave it so no one would give up thinking that vital piece of information was missing. On the other hand, it was a red herring, meant to distract you a bit. Logic puzzles sometimes include such useless information to throw you off. Still, I hope you like the puzzles, and you can manifest it in comments and likes. If you already subscribed the channel, but you think it's all a sham because the earth is flat, then feel free to unsubscribe. Otherwise, I encourage you to subscribe and check my other videos with logic puzzles and with quick mental math tricks. Thanks for watching.